Hi guys, welcome back to 97 Projects. I'm Amy and this week we're going to be experimenting with alcohol inks and resin. So I have made the pieces already. Um, I decided at 9 o'clock at night was as good a time as any to try out alcohol inks. We're also going to be experimenting with some playing cards. I really wanted to try and make something for my new Etsy shop. So we've been a bit busy over here recently. I've started a new Etsy shop. I've had to create a whole spreadsheet. Love spreadsheets. <laughs> create a whole spreadsheet to try and work out the costs of each of the items. Uh, I've had to buy a couple more moulds to make sure I've got the right size for the key rings. So we're going to stick with the craft resin, which I'll link below. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. It's really easy ratio, so just one to one ratio. So one of the big things that I learned from my first time using resin was to measure my moulds. So I used a pipette to drop water into the moulds to check how many millilitres of resin would be needed to fill each of the moulds. Um, obviously the bookmarks were all the same size so I only did the one. Dried that up properly before I used it. This one we're going to be doing four bookmarks. So in preparation for this video, I have cut up two playing cards. These are cardboard playing cards and I'm going to try and see what they look like in resin, if they're going to work or not. So we've been a bit busy over here recently. There was a Fitbit family step challenge, which was meant to be a friendly competition. And some people took it too far and <laughs> shouldn't have been on a treadmill at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> Fine. So the alcohol inks of choice are from Decor Rum. These are the 24 alcohol inks. There's 24 different colours in here. A lot of the stuff I've been buying is from Amazon because I've got Prime, so next day delivery has been a, a real help. And being still slightly in lockdown, I think we are still now. It's been handy not having to leave the house as well, which is good. Apart from when there's a walking challenge and I need to be out 18 hours a day. I'm not competitive. I'm not competitive. I mean, why would you go into a competition and then not try to win? That's like, everybody gets like runner up medals or like participation medals. No, thank you. I'm in this because I'm gonna try and win and I'm gonna try my hardest and I want you to try your hardest against me so it pushes me. So we're going to be trying to implement as many of the tips and tricks that we learned from the first time we did resin into this video. Um, we're going to try and improve every time. That's the idea of make, doing things wrong. One thing that I have struggled with in the past is worrying about doing things wrong or making mistakes. Now that I'm getting a bit older, I'm starting to learn that mistakes are good. And if you're not making mistakes, then you're not pushing anything to any boundaries. So make mistakes and learn from them. And I'm going to put that on a t-shirt and sell that on my Etsy shop. <laughs> So for those of you who are interested in buying some bits and pieces from me, my Etsy shop is 97 Projects, so just search for that in the search bar and you'll find me. And I'll put a couple of images up of the different key rings that I've been selling.
If you'd like to see a video on how I prepare the Etsy orders, make them by hand and then package them, then let me know in the comments and I'll make sure I do that for you. I can also show you my lovely, beautiful new spreadsheet which works out my costs. So the resin's cured now, it's been a couple of weeks, <laughs> we've got hardly any bubbles which is great. Let me take you through the, I'm going to leave the alcohol ones till last because they're pretty cool. Uh, so the first ones are the jokers. The cure is really clear, really clear. The issue is, is that the playing cards, because they are cardboard, the resin is sort of soaked to the edges. I don't know whether that adds to it or not. I do need to tidy up the edges because we've got quite rough edges. I've got wet and dry paper, which I can sand down, down to about 3000 grit. If you don't know about sanding resin, you need uh, wet and dry paper. And I'll go, normally I'll go from 120 grit down to 3000 grit, just to make sure it's nice and smooth and polished. These are good. I mean, I have actually got some plastic playing cards, which I got from a casino that was closing down around this area, which I could potentially use instead of these ones. I don't think they have jokers in them. I could do some kings and queens of hearts or about the ace of spades, those sort of ones. But they look pretty cool. Bit of novelty. I could put them up on Etsy once I've finished the edges off. I don't think I'll be making too many of those though. I'm not sure how popular they would be. Or how many decks of cards I would need. <laughs> the alcohol ink ones, I'm going to show you the backs first because that's what you saw while I was pouring them in. They look really cool. How cool do they look? And then the fronts. They look really cool. The colours are nice and merging in together. You can see where some of the white's coming through. I was expecting to see more pillars and drops of the white in them. I wanted more of like, I've seen some Petri dish type style resin before where you get lots of um, of the white. Because the white's made of a more dense colour, it drops the colour to the front of the dish. And I thought that was what was going to happen with these. But I mean, it's still, it's still really cool. Really cool. Once each of the bookmarks is cleaned up, they will be available on my Etsy store. So make sure to check them out on there. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you would like to see more alcohol ink work. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you can get some more of this resiny goodness. I've gone a bit mad on the mold front, so I've got a few to play with. Let me know what you want to see next. So I've got a Deathly Hallows sign from Harry Potter. Do something cool with that. I've got some some dish type ones with the little rim around them. I've got different shapes of those. I've got square, hexagon. I've also bought the classic Petri dish mould. So if you want to see more alcohol ink work, me doing Petri dishes with those, let me know. I've got some 3D moulds as well, which you could try out, some square ones, some circles. Give me some ideas what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. So I used a pipette to, with a, so I used a pipette, do you remember that from Glorious Bastards? He gives himself away by doing the three. That's the English three, and then the German three is that. Right. I'm Amy, and this week we're going to be. Unique New York. What does this mean? Hi guys, welcome back to 97. The only people who have an issue with me being on a treadmill at 12 o'clock at night is uh, losers. Yeah, I said it. That each of these bookmarks needs 18 millilitres of resin. So I'm doing four, which makes sense to which is quick math.